How's the game? The game is good so far. Um, isn't fun. I think that overall, I am enjoying the game more than I enjoyed World of Warcraft, which I don't know if that says much, but it's definitely a game that I plan to play more of and want to continue playing more of uh, every day. How long I'll enjoy the game? is a question but at least at the moment i am feeling like this game does seem to have legs how about playability versus lost ark i mean it's just hard because they're both different games um if you want a more traditional again I, I think i said this before if you want a more traditional mmo experience this is uh, a lot better uh, like than lost ark right but if you want like very very good and fluid combat hard raids and you know I would say Lost Ark is maybe better for you. But it's like, this is very much an MMO-ass MMO, you know? Lost Ark is not an MMO-ass MMO. It's probably my Tuesday night maintenance game, unless they do the same maintenance time as Loa. Yeah, also, um, another thing, right? Loa, at some point, is like, you can't pay for progress you can pay for like power to you know but like, like how, what i mean by that is like no matter how much you pay for the game you will need to play the game to some extent to like be able to like keep up with people right and you need like the cards and shit like that you know you, you need your your shit that is gated by time but from what i know about this game and what I've heard from the conversations, this game seems like a game you can drop, and then if you really just want to come back, you just pay and you just can get back into it. Because um, I was listening to like Henry talk, right, the other night, and he's like, yeah, Loa's still going to be my main game, but you know, this is probably the game where I like put on the side and like whatever new content comes out, I'll play it. And then if I need to, I just pay to win and then, you know, get get my prog progression and then catch up. And he was talking about this with Cannon, so yeah. Is this more fun than Lost Ark? Um, I mean, uh, at the moment, yeah. But at the same time, it's just because I might because might be because I've been playing Lost Ark for a long time. So you know, it's uh, a little bit uh hard to say exactly. But the thing is, with any game, right, I think that the lev with any MMO, the leveling process is usually pretty fun unless it's a complete dog shit MMO. So it's really hard to say how an MMO really is until you actually get to the point of like doing endgame shit, which I'm not in right now. I know that some people are, but I am not personally. Is Tia like a combination of BDO and Lost Ark? Um, not really. I would say that there's not really any Lost Ark elements in this. <laughs> like, unless we're talking about the systems. <laughs> then, you know, you have some holding systems and shit like that, that are kind of reminiscent of Lost Ark. But I'd say this is very far away from, like, being anywhere similar to Lost Ark. This is what I was, so it's, like, kind of what I'd say, right? This game is not for Lost Ark players. Like, if you're just a Lost Ark Andy, and you don't like, you know, these, like, open-world MMOs, like, more of the classic MMO-ass MMOs, you're not gonna like this game. But if you like MMOs as a, as a whole, right, you know, this is a game that you might want to try out, because that's how many MMOs are out there right now. <laughs> like, the, we get a one MMO maybe at the most every two years, right? At the most. We get a one, we get a good MMO every two years at the most. So, you know, if a good one's coming around, which the Order of Liberty is looking like a decent MMO at least, you know, she gave it a shot. I mean, the systems are just Korean MMO systems, right? It's nothing like special. $40 early access worth it? I would say that $40 early access is only worth it if you want to play it early. Nothing in the nothing in the early access gives you any sort of advantage or any like sort of like real value. The only value actually you get out of the um, early access is playing it early. And if you are not entirely sold on the game, I would say that you should not buy the early access. 
I like how they separate early access servers and launch servers. Yeah, they had to do it, basically. If they did it, the pay to win, like, pay to win, pay to win, would have been, like, crazy. Unless you know something about how, how the Kiara community has evolved, and that weak early access allows you to dominate the market early, I don't think it's worth to go early access. I mean, I don't even think, like, you know, you... I don't think the KR early, like... I don't think there's any way to like dominate the market with early access because you legitimately, you know, people who are, you, you, the only people who are playing in your servers are other early access people pretty much. Until later at least when, um, you know, if the people from a nor like the regular group wants to play in early access servers. Because the regular folks will have their own servers the non-early access folks.